name is Jennifer, and this is Mike. He has um, chest tubes. He's supposed to have day one uh, cabbage. He has chest tubes, two that come out, bifurcates into one, and this tube here down here leads to the suction, the atrium suction. Okay, mm -hmm. so what we're doing right now, we have our tiling. We don't have an air leak, and we can notice that here. Currently have 20 cns of suction, and we know that because the bellow right here is at the arrow. And what we're doing here is we're um, changing from wall suction over to bulb suction. Okay. These bulbs have a one-way valve. It's important is the tip of this you don't touch onto anything, okay? Because this is sterile. Mm -hmm. Have this here, which is the cap. You can cap it right in there, and that will not allow air back in because we're going to connect this here to the chest. See, I can't push air in because it's a one way mm -hmm. valve. Mm -hmm. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo this, push all the air out, mm -hmm. I'm going to clamp it, create a vacuum, and then we have a vacuum because I'm squeezing it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm going to connect this here simply on to where it connects here where the tape is. Okay? Mm -hmm. Tape's holding the tubes to the patient's abdomen as an extra security. Mm -hmm. But that's what we're going to do here. And as I do that, I don't want air to enter into the space. So I take this here, and I'm going to clamp. Yeah, I'm taping right now. Hold on just a second. I'm going to clamp right above mm -hmm. where I'm going. Just a little bit of pressure. And it's simply Without touching the inside, mind you, and not pulling on the patient, mind you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am actually going to use two, just momentarily so that I don't get air backed up mm -hmm. in here as this is exposed to air. We don't mm -hmm. want it going back in the other tube. So we're going to briefly go like that, pull out here, not touching anything. Here, here, because this won't fit in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we put the connector on there. This have negative pressure. This is here, and then stick it on here. So we have negative pressure there. Mm -hmm. That's it. And that's it. So now this one is done. And we're going to put a little bit of tape around both ends here to make sure that it stays in. Mm -hmm. Now here, and squeeze it. Looks just like a JP. Yeah, and then this is the connector. Exactly like a JP, yeah. Vacuum. Close here. Got the vacuum now. And we simply this is clamped. The other one's to JP with a vacuum. And you just have to turn it a little bit. There we go. Okay. And then right onto the top. Okay, when it's on good. Cap on, you should have good suction. There we go. There we go. Put a little bit of tape here and here. And then I'm going to also secure these to the abdomen wall with mm -hmm. some more tape. Great. And that is the key. You really got to keep these taped well mm -hmm. and keep suction and then keep an eye on them. Initially, when you switch them over to bulk suction, you may have a little bit more uh, within the first Great. half hour or the half hour, especially when you get your patients up to you. Make sure they're secure and just keep a really close eye on them every hour. You know, Great. put it under outfit. That's mm -hmm. it. Great. And then we bag our chest dress, uh, chest tube in red bag because yeah. it goes to bio. Mm -hmm. It's a red bag. And here, your chest tube here. Now, you can just disconnect from here mm -hmm. and you're off the wall suction. Mm -hmm. Okay. And she'll measure for the last time what was the total. Yeah. And she already did that. Okay, yeah. great. And then you mark that here. 
every hour as you go, like 7.30 was mm -hmm. 4.60, and then right now it's 5.40. Mm -hmm. Every Very hour little. you keep an eye on it as it increases. Mm -hmm. And any more than like 100 an hour, you want to let the doctor know. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm.